Hi, my friends call me Lime and this is what you have to say about mastering your genuineness. Green Mohawk says, I don't have strong reactions IRL, does that mean I should not react to anything lol? P.S. I do feel very strongly about stuff though and get very emotionally invested in things, I'm a gamer. So I checked out one of your videos and it does come through that you feel strongly about games. When you say that you're excited, I believe you. And that's all I'm asking for, so no need to stop. I should admit though that I was thinking that emotionally stronger reactions are more entertaining. However, this doesn't have to be the case because it depends on how you do it and just being witty can of course be entertaining. All I'm saying is that whatever you do, I don't want to cringe because it feels false. Sidekick says, what accent is that? In-depth video, nice work. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm from Sweden, so I guess that's where the accent comes from. Uh, or this is just the way I learned to talk. Our series says, I want to have accent like you, laughing face, move to Sweden. Unique Sound says, fantastic upload heart, love it. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Um, what's with the number 43? Wobbly Captain says, I always run 100 miles before I make my videos, makes me focus more, winky face. Damn. Ryan, uh, sorry, can I call you Ryan? I, I don't know how to pronounce this otherwise. Uh, says that the whole point of being genuine is you don't practice it, you just be yourself and are honest. Imagine that you're giving a speech to your classmates and you are very nervous. Now a genuine reaction might be to freeze up, making you less able to open up and act like you usually are when sharing something. And Sure, one could argue that you're being genuine when you let your nervousness take over like that because you are genuinely nervous, but that is not what I'm talking about when I'm asking you to give a genuine impression. You want to give a great performance and so you'll have to ask yourself, who do I want to channel, me as a nervous wreck or me as I usually are? And if the answer is the latter, then yes, it takes practice to channel that part of yourself in situations where that doesn't come naturally. There are many situations in which our ability to just be ourselves are just thrown out the window. For many people, one of those situations is speaking in front of the camera or microphone. Because let's face it, you're supposed to talk like you're talking to someone, but there's no one there. You are not here. Right now, right now, I'm all alone in my apartment speaking to a camera, an inanimate object, like I'm talking to a person. And yes, that does feel unnatural at times, and so, in the beginning, that takes practice. And also, it's not just about being genuine or being yourself, you actually have to give a genuine impression, you'll have to communicate that you mean what you're saying. I've seen loads of examples of people just going, I am so excited for this. And maybe these people really are excited, uh, but in that case, they'll have to learn how to communicate that. When someone says that they're excited, I want to hear that in their voice. And for some people, it takes practice to communicate emotion. And let's not forget that your viewers need to be entertained, inspired, or in some way being made to feel something and you have competition. And so sometimes we have to turn ourselves up a little to be the best that we can be and at times that feels unnatural too. I know that for me, learning how to communicate emotion more clearly while keeping the genuineness was kind of a challenge and just something like articulation. It felt unnatural to me to articulate in a certain way and so that took away some of the genuineness and it took practice to give that back. 
So there are many examples where we have to put work into giving a genuine impression. Just saying that, mm, I'll just be myself, problem solved, just doesn't cut it at times. It is though a very important part of the solution, but it isn't the whole solution. Some people though are lucky, some people have the talent, some people just automatically communicate their emotion well and articulate well and those people probably don't have to put as much into practice but they probably have to practice other things. Game on Ryan says I knew it the lime couldn't do that winky face. I will show you what I can do. So I am usually able to handle this with the two arms like that. But one arm No, 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 I can't even stand on that. Ah, well, that was a failure. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.